Welcome back guys. This is video number five and today we're talking about momentum. First off, what is momentum? Momentum is something an athletic team can have going into the World Series. Uh, momentum can be something that you have going into semester two. So far you've gotten all your homework done, you're on a roll. You have some momentum. But really, what is momentum? Momentum in physics is a difficult thing to comprehend. When we think about momentum, it's something that is inside of an object, something that that object possesses. Um, but if we're looking at these two carts, do these two carts have momentum? I don't think so. Um, so what is it? Is it a force? If I have just one cart and that cart is moving, if it was moving at a constant rate, there is no forces acting on that object, or at least no unbalanced forces acting on that object. So momentum isn't force. And it isn't acceleration either, because as that was moving back and forth, there was no acceleration. Um, if we have two carts, we can... That was the right way. If we have two carts, then we can transfer that momentum somehow. And that momentum is maintained. So, but, but what is it? Looking at these carts and, and going up based on what you already know, do these carts have momentum? How about now? <laughs> Let's try that again. How about now? What about if we increase the mass of one of our carts? How does the momentum compare? So there's a couple different things that momentum depends on. One is we need to have some mass. If we don't have an object, we don't have any momentum. As soon as we have an object, we have mass. We have a potential for some momentum, but we need something else. You've already answered that these cards don't have any momentum because they're not moving. And that's the other component. In order for an object to possess some quality of momentum, it needs to both have mass, which all objects do again, and it also has to have some amount of velocity. When you compare them, um, think about this in terms of measuring an amount of momentum that an object could potentially uh, pass on to another object. If you were standing in front of an 18-wheeler and it was moving at some velocity, or if you had the option to stand in front of a small Lego truck and it was moving with the same velocity, which one would you choose to stand in front of? You would likely choose, and I hope, the small Lego truck because it has less momentum. While they have the same velocity, they have less. They have the, uh, different masses, so the one with the less mass would have less momentum. So when it's transferring momentum from one object to another, you have to consider the amount of momentum that that object possesses. We can also think of momentum as some factor of velocity. Um, if this has no velocity, if the velocity is zero, then it has no momentum. That way we can think somehow that velocity is inherent in this idea. But if I had a dart gun that shot little plastic orange sticky darts, and I had a revolver that shot real bullets, and I shot them both at a watermelon, the dart wouldn't transfer very much momentum to that watermelon. But the bullet, going much faster, would transfer a lot of momentum, even though their mass is comparable. Got it? Good. See you soon. Better? Yeah, I think, I think so. maybe. Yeah. Are you still identical? Like